Welcome to the Sober Q podcast. Hi, my name is Johnny. I'm an alcoholic and I'm sober today. And the question is, what was our experience of the first 10 days sober? Well, I got sober on the 18th of October 2004 and I was 23 years old at the time and the plan was not for me to come into Alcoholics Anonymous. Um, I had no idea what was happening in my life at the time. I was very lost and confused and um, yeah, I was 23 years old in, in physical form but I reckon emotionally I was probably around 15, 16 because alcohol did stunt my um, development and my growth and uh, and I drank every day and um, I drank because I I loved the effect that it produced in me um, and I took drugs and I gambled you know whatever made me feel good I, I just wanted more and more of it and but the time come where I had to reach out for help and that's what I did and I reached out to a, a good friend of mine who I was working with and um, he directed me into the rooms and and thank God I I didn't do any more research. I um I went to that meeting, that first meeting and I went to a meeting the next day and and slowly, slowly those days started to accumulate and um but yeah the first ten days were um I was in the fog, um, put it that way. I can't remember much of um what was happening, I can't remember too many people that, that I met, but I do remember the, the feeling I was getting when I was in a meeting and the feeling I felt afterwards. I felt I felt content and I felt satisfied and I felt a sense of hope and I met people who walked a similar path as me and um, for the first time in my life I I didn't feel hopeless and, and lonely and um, and all of a sudden I had people reaching out to me offering me their phone numbers and offering to take me out for a coffee and whatnot and I was pretty suspicious I, I thought you know they were, they were either going to use me or they wanted to gather some sort of information off me but now looking back they just wanted to see me progress and, and get well and um and I did as much as I didn't want to step out of my comfort zone I was um an introvert and probably still am to an extent um but I was very shy and and had no social skills and because the only way I was able to function was by having a drink in my system or a or a, or a substance and um but I started getting well um pretty quick and doors started opening up and um and, you know, those those first 10 days, I did different meetings just because I was um, I was told to do that. I was told to get out of the old environment and um, put my recovery first. And um, no matter what come in my way, um, yeah, my program had to had to be my my number one priority. And um, yeah, and it's been a. Yeah, it's been 16 years since um, my first meeting, just over, and um, I haven't felt the need to go back or pick up a drink. Um, you know, I've been able to live life on life's terms and go through some challenges and struggles without the thought of having a drink. And um, so Alcoholics Anonymous has given me freedom from the drink and um, freedom from self. So, yeah, thank you for letting me share. If you would like to share your experience on a recovery question, visit the SoberQ podcast website at soberq.com. Thanks for listening.